welcome to another uh, crazy episode of uh, Crazy Bob. It's a crazy episode of Crazy Bob. So uh, today we're going to talk about something that uh, a lot of you have heard about, some of you know about, some of you use different tools to, to perform, and it's a thing called coding. So to code a car, what does that even mean? So basically when you code a car, i.e. the BMW, that's what I'm going to stick with today, what you're basically doing is you're taking features that are already really kind of hidden in the hardware of the vehicle and you're basically de-abling or enabling them. That's basically all you're doing when you're doing a thing called coding. So uh, we're going to uh, talk about that here in just a moment. Up until very recently I would do this in a very complex way with a laptop, a cable hooked up to uh, my OBD2, and I, and I had to uh, cross my fingers and make sure I checked the right boxes and I'm going to show you what that looks like here in just a moment but uh, I'm going to show you an easy way today and it is through a uh, app that uh, some smart folks developed called the Bimmer Code app uh, it can be downloaded uh, in the App Store very very cheaply 25 bucks and then you also need a little wireless uh, OBD2 plug here this is a, a V-Gate um, and they work really well together. So uh, without further ado, let me show you how it works. So as you see, I have the Bimmer Code app here, and if I want to connect to my vehicle, seriously, we're going to go ahead and rate these guys. Let's give them, let's give them a good rating here. All right. Okay, so if I want to connect, I would uh, select the connect. Now before I can uh, connect, I have to make sure that my wireless OBD2 plug is plugged into uh, the port and so I'm going to show you the demo mode first just to give you an idea of how this system works. This is exactly the process that would happen if we're connected and we're, we are going to connect in just a minute. And it's so much easier than using your laptop. I can now come through here and I can look at different things. For instance the head unit. I have ha had a Merry Christmas logo set up. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the Merry Christmas logo and change it back to the M logo or the I logo. So as you can see here there's Christmas, I select Christmas, I come back and then I hit code while the ignition's still on. And then in the live mode it would now start coding once I hit OK. So without further ado that's basically the gist of it. Uh, I'll show you the easy coding first using this app, and then I will show you the more expert uh, mode items that you can use while using this. So in most cars, this plug is located on the passenger side. So as you see, kind of hidden here in this BMW i3, uh, but once we have it plugged up, we can now turn on the ignition and go ahead and get started. So first, first things first, we turn on the ignition. Uh, don't have to have the car running. Hey, but the i3 is running right now. Hear it? Um, anyway, so now I'm going to connect and it says I have no connection. Well, drat, why don't I have a connection? Well, that is because the way the V-gate works is I must minimize my Bimmer code, go back to my settings, and instead of my normal Wi-Fi, I must use V-Link. That is the correct connection. Once it connects to V-Link, which it just did, now I can close this back, come back over to Bimmer Code, now I can connect, and I should be able to connect straight to the car. Let's try that again. And so while I'm waiting, the types of things that you can code uh, and enable are things such as uh, uh, comfort closing, comfort opening, uh, having your mirrors fold in when you hold the grip, uh, there can be a delay to that. You can have it do it automatically. There's so many things that you can kind of adjust. A lot of people get annoyed by the simple fact that the uh, AC comes on automatically every time. So if you don't want that, you just turn that off. Very simple. Okay, so here's the basic modules. Uh, if, for instance, I want to uh, change my air conditioning parameters, I simply select that. It's now going to show me basically uh, what parameters there are for the air conditioning system. So basically the the basic things that I can change are air circulation setting memory. When it's set to not active it's basically saying hey however you set your recirculation 
uh, right now doesn't matter because when you come back it's going to not remember that it's going to go back to its basic setting uh, air conditioning memory same thing it's saying hey it's not active so every time I get in the car the AC will be off uh, air conditioning with auto on is active right now if I wanted to I would simply select that and say hey I don't want that to be active when I'm on automatic I don't want it to automatically do that uh, in this case I actually don't want to change that though so I'm just gonna leave that so let's go ahead and find something that we're going to code I'm gonna come to the head unit right here we're going to go ahead and read this information and I'm gonna change the main screen back to the iDrive screen because Christmas is over and don't need the Christmas screen anymore so we're going to come up to the start animation you see where it says Christmas there we're going to go ahead and change that back to BMW i and then we're going to go to come back and it's the code lights up in the top here so we're going to go ahead and code and we're going to go ahead and start coding so you got to be patient here something that's very important to note is if you're going to do several coding bits at a time you may want to hook up a battery tender or uh, start the car and have it running and there you go coding was successful so I can now turn this back off and I am all done and now you can see I have the iDrive startup screen so that's your basic uh, coding right there uh, there is an expert mode on the bottom here as you notice and so if I want to do some things beyond the things that have been done for us by Bimmer Code, I would click expert mode. Now this is what you're going to see when you're using a laptop. It's going to have certain little items, line items there and so if I select that uh, I need to know what I'm looking for. Let's say I'm looking for uh, PIA I have no idea what that is to be honest it's currently set to not active so expert mode ie yes it is expert mode because you do have to kind of know what you're talking about and there is a ton of information here for instance video handbrake if I hit that it's set to not active meaning that I can watch videos even if the handbrake is off so in most vehicles you can't watch a video unless the car is stopped or the handbrake is on. In this case, it's not active, so technically I could watch a video. Um, it also has some rear seat options. There's some personal radio options, different types of videos or area codes. If you wanted to change your area code, you could select that. As you see, it doesn't tell you what country those codes are for. It simply has the codes. Now, I'm going to assume one is the United States, two is uh, who knows where, and so on and so forth. And I am set to all others. So um, you can code this if you know what it is you're looking for. So, And there is a ton of additional coding, and I would almost be willing to say it's almost just as much as with the laptop. And we're going to show you the laptop too. I'm going to give you a quick view of what it used to look like. So as you can see, this is a, a program called ESIS. Uh, as you can see, I'm, I'm demonstrating an old version here. Um, nonetheless, this is what it looks like when you're looking through ESIS. So when you're going to code, you're looking through these different modules. Each one of these folders is technically a module. So for instance, the little Christmas screen I had there, if I wanted to change that, I'd have to come to HUNBT, next best thing, which is the uh, the place we want to go there and then I'd have to come in here and code so in this case since I'm not connected to the car I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and just find that real quick since I have it saved on my computer yep there it is and so then I would have to go ahead and select this edit put in my key and I would then get this type of setup here. From here I would now have to figure out where is the bit that I'm looking for. So I'd have to look at functions and then a whole bunch of stuff opens up right there. 
So I'd now have to scroll through and find it, or I could also do a search for it if I knew what the name is. So I can go ahead and try startup. Oops, if I could spell, that would help. Uh, I can go ahead and type start and see uh, Navi start guidance, that's not it. Let's search again. Startup type. So we're getting kind of close there. Um, this is close, but that's not it. Uh, startup emblem. So this would show me a different emblem, and sometimes you get a little expl explanation right here, but sometimes you don't. So uh, for me, it's a very easy decision. Uh, ESIS, I enjoyed it, and it's a great tool, and I, and I want to thank everybody that's worked on keeping that thing working and making sure that everything still shows up as it should. But uh, Bimmer Code app, thumbs up all the way.